and I've got a Contiki 774 here. Oh, very nice. Oh, those. For 82,995. Wow, they're holding their prices. Right, so we're just going to go to Salop Leisure and see what that's like. It's just started snowing there. <laughs> You got your hood up. Yep. Anyone think it was snowing? It is snowing. <laughs> got plenty of gas. Oh yeah. We're just going to have a look around the accessory shop, and you don't fancy get looking around the caravans out, motorhomes outside, do you? We well, might go and look. I might do. Yeah, I might have a look. It looks huge, this place. I didn't. I'd never made the connection with the love to stay. I knew, oh, I knew it was very no. close. Yeah. Well, it's advertising it there in the window. Isabel yeah, at Love to stay. to stay. Never been to Love to Stay, have we? No. It was a plants place here. Love plants. Okay. Oh, salad leisures just to the left here. All oh, right. That's a plants thing. We don't do plants, do we? Are you sure this isn't the way in? What? Sorry. He's worrying. This isn't the way in. It isn't the way in, did no. you say? No, well look. I know, I don't know where you go. A Contiki 774 here indoors. Very nice. 2022. I'll zoom it. 91,795. Very nice. Side barbecue point. A little locker on that side. I want the door on. I think there's a bigger one on the other side. Can't get round there though. Have a quick look in. It's a huge habitation step. Let's notice that. Oh yeah, this is very nice. I think this is the one the Roman Radfords have got, isn't it? The 774? I think so, with the rear lounge. We travel seats up the front there, those seats. And the new Fiat cab, this one's on a manual, but it's got the big sat nav display. Quite deep little lockers in there. I think that's the controls for the sunroof, it must be, yeah. For the roof up there. 
and you've got this table that goes up and down and folds out of the way you can just push it out of the way these leather effect seats great big window which is enormous and above you you've got the drop down bed yeah very nice got Dometic microwave here I think Jenny would like to have a look at this yeah full cooker and oven our fridge the same fridge we've got to be honest I think I'd wish they'd put a bigger one in there with a separate freezer in here washroom and shower yeah it's good it's very nice the lockers in there of course the thing about this is you've got two lounges so if you have got a family obviously you can separate kids in here perhaps and adults up the front yeah good yeah I did look at this at the show and you've got the table that pulls out there caravan style lockers at the back on the side yeah a very stylish motor. Yeah. There we are. Yeah, very nice. And I've stepped out into the cold. I've got the, uh, is that the Monza? Yes, it is. Oh, I like the wheels. Oh, yeah. They're yeah, very nice. Look at those. sliding door on this side as well I assume it's locked yeah Ford cab leather effect seats yeah very stylish 65,740 that one but what a stylish my turn oh yeah like that very nice have that as a second vehicle This weather, you see. There we go. Lens on the GoPro is supposed to be hydroscopic, so it doesn't get things sticking on it. I wonder how good it is in snow. There's an eight seven four here. This is a oh, this is a tag axle version, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. I no doubt we're going to get in any of these, are we? No, they're all going to be locked up. You presumably you have to ask if you want to see. I don't know what you can see there. They've got a Voyager as well, 594. think what layout 594 is I can't see it through the snow there four berth well I can't see no can't see that <laughs> oh it's an island bed one isn't it yeah island bed I couldn't remember yeah and you've got a nice big garage at the back here Yeah, not a, it's all going to be shut, isn't it? Yeah, got all sorts of uh, used stock as well. Well, older Contiki here. Uh, it's 2007 649 for 82,995. Wow, they're holding their prices. Another one, 89,069 registration 650. 22 plate Contiki 794 89,000 Besser car, here we are 574 same as ours but on a Besser car plate 2018 a year older than ours 
and that is 61,695. So exact same motome as we've got. Even got the same problem with the, uh, the rubbing strip there going dark. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, they are twin beds. Little bike rack on the back. I don't know what sort of back rack that one is. Is that the elite one? Might be. Yeah. Next to it they've got a, a Swift, what is that, a Carrera? No, a Skate rather, 674, 75,000. Good heavens. There's an Arapaho there, 09 plate, 48,995. That's a beast, isn't it? A little better car here, got four. 462, that's 52,995. Well, I think if you buy a moto, you're not going to lose money if you sell it and decide you don't like it. 83,000 for this Mercedes Heimer here. A 21 plate. And that's one of the smaller ones, isn't it? The T680. You must have a, a floor there. Double floor, rather. The lockers are open. Oh, not other way. Look at that. Size of that garage there. Probably means the bed's way up in the air. Oh, this one's open. I don't want to go in there. I'll get snow everywhere. A quick peek in there. go in there I get it absolutely wet through I've got anything down probably just come in hasn't it yeah very nice doors not shutting properly don't need fixing yeah 83,000 blimey Auto cruise there, one of the last auto cruises. Carrera 4, 49,995, and that's a 2014 plate. IH 600, 15 plate, 54,995. <laughs> Emphasising how popular the twin beds are, this is a Joa camp. More affordable ones from Pilo and a Citroen 58,995. Joa Camp. Look inside. Step there. Island bed at the back. A small kitchen. It's, uh, an L-shaped lounge with travel seats. That don't look too bad. I'll have to have a look at these at the show again. Just thought they looked a little bit too uh, basic when I looked at them before. Got no running step or anything like that. So you can see the things are missing from it. Probably a basic cab as well, but calling 58,995 affordable does seem incredible, really, doesn't it? There's another one here, 59,140. Yeah. Well, hundreds of caravans, coachmen's down there, and Swift Challengers, Sprites, Eldis. 
goes on and on. Well, we've had a little bit of a, a problem with Poppy. Um, she, two things really. She started limping when we were in Shrewsbury. She suddenly shot off and was holding her paw up. So I think she's either hurt her paw or strained something. Not quite sure why. So she was sort of limping. So we we, uh, we sort of got got her back to the van, and that's why we didn't really take her around the uh, Salop Leisure. Anyway, it's the following morning and the, the limp's still the same, but on top of that she's also developed some sort of, um, oh, I don't know what it is, sickness or something like that. And uh, she's, she was sick of probably about twice, three times last night, bringing up stuff. So we, we brought her to, the, to a vet, a Copthorne vet they're called and uh, we're just waiting for our appointment now we got here miles too early and uh, we're going to take her in and see what see what they can figure out but it sort of puts our trip to Asheville in doubt we were going to go down to Asheville we've also been sort of seeing and the amount of snow that they've been having down there so uh, I think we after this we might be uh, heading home and uh, uh, discretion being the best part of valour and all that and uh, Anyway, I want to see what's up with Poppy, see if we can get a solution first before we decide what to do. Poppy? Pops? Poppy? You want to tell him about what happened at the vet? No, you're not, are you? <laughs> what a face. <laughs> I'm not going to tell him, are you? It was horrible. Poked you about and had a look and tried to figure out what was wrong with you, didn't they? Yeah, and you struggled and struggled and struggled. Oh, it was a nightmare. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I think Bobby's exhausted. So what the vet said is that she's, uh, well, she's got a puncture wound in one of her pads. It looks like she's stepped on something sharp, possibly glass or something like that. She certainly shot off. And I wonder what happened. And she was holding a paw. It's a little bit better now. And as for the sickness, well, I think he thinks it's, um, you know, one of these bugs that's going around, I guess. Does, Seasonal does thing. Really know, does he? No, I don't really know. Anyway, he's given us some, um, some, of, some of this. Hey, Pops? Yeah, that's got to go on your food. He, tried, he said he'd given her, in, would have given her an injection, but she was struggling so much. That she couldn't hold her still long enough to give her an injection, so she's got a double dose of this on her food, and uh, and then we're going to give her that for about seven days. It's um, what is it? It's anti-inflammatory, isn't it? Yeah. And pain relief, so it might just help, um, might just help Poppy relax a little bit. I mean, she seems a little bit better this morning. She's not been sick again. But uh, we'll probably give her a little snack in a minute. Give you something to eat, Bobs. If you like that. You know, I have to put some of that special stuff on it. But yeah, it does mean you get to eat. <laughs> yeah, and the other bit of news is we decided not to go to Ashwell. Um, what did Marion say? Yeah, they've had several inches of snow overnight. And I can't see it going anytime soon. The temperatures as they are going to be like minus five minus six overnight they're not going above zero or one during the day and we know what that's like in yeah that area of Hertfordshire. It's, it's on the it's, Chilterns isn't it so yeah. you know it's, uh, it's a bit hilly there and it does seem to get a lot of snow so I don't think we want to add to any travel problems plus on Wednesday there's a rail strike that's right I'd forgotten about that and yeah, uh, yeah so I thought best to, to cancel it so we're going to head home on Wednesday on Wednesday, on Wednesday yeah. now and uh, I'm going to get on with editing this video which has probably gone on way too long yeah yeah um, but yeah but Poppy's all right she, she's getting better and uh, she just needs rest really not so much walking on that yeah I mean she had uh, she had me up what three four times tonight so if you, anyone thinks I'm looking tired yeah there's a good there's, reason for uh, that little white dog Oh, well, I think we're listening out for it, aren't we? Yeah. I'm waking, yeah. I'm waking up, then I'm waking you up. and. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So I'm absolutely shattered. I haven't had a shower yet, so... No, well, luckily, <laughs> we can probably see that, but... <sighs> 
yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I think, but, uh, but we're both all right and yeah. we're going to head home and we'll get a few jobs done and uh, bits and pieces and stuff but we have got some uh, well I think it's exciting uh, an exciting freebie coming um, yeah, yeah yeah and uh, that should be interesting and uh, something a little bit different so uh, watch out for that in our next video and uh, do the usual give us a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe if you haven't already that really does help I know there's people aren't making a lot of content at the moment are they I haven't seen them a lot no. um, lately no probably the same reason as us though. yeah it, it it's is difficult, difficult. I mean, even if you are somewhere it's difficult to actually go anywhere else yeah. safely isn't it yeah I know I did a video on <laughs> winter touring but yeah. uh, I, I don't I think I said in that always check the weather forecast yeah and we so, have done and we yeah. have done and we think it's probably safer not to travel yes. so there you go yeah anyway here's a picture of Poppy you're not asleep are you you're in a little snooze now love you leave me alone she says <laughs>